Hello everybody. We are out here today at uh, South Mountain and our plan is to do Desert Classic. So it's a very, very popular, well-known trail around here. And I don't know if we're gonna have time to do it end to end, but we're gonna do our best to do so. I think it's about a uh, 17 mile round trip out and back. Got Scott with me today. Say hey, Scott. Hey, Scott. <laughs> Just had a few technical difficulties with uh, the front of my bike on the spindle, but I think we've got it squared away. I'll just have to keep an eye on it. But uh, we're gonna get everything set here and get underway. And uh, we will see you on the trail. We're going this way. I believe this is Desert Classic. Yeah, you're going to have to get used to that. What? You're going to have to get used to that yeah. with the longer cranks. Where are you? Okay. Yeah, it's beautiful out here today. I forgot about how rough this stuff is out here. This is supposed to have a 680 some odd foot elevation gain. Hello. Thank you. How are you doing today? Like that. That was fun. <laughs> What's that?
Oh, it's beautiful up here. I don't know if you can uh, get an appreciation here of what the hills look like. But Scott decided to take a little detour up into the canyon here. I don't know if you can see his red shirt way up there. But look at the rugged nature of this country out here. This stuff is just super, super rugged terrain all the way up into this canyon. Most of these trails we're hitting too are pretty rugged. Well, Scott decided to get us up into this little canyon here, uh, thinking it was desert classic, but it's not, as you can well see. So let's see what kind of damage we could do coming down here. Looks like it's a little more than a water building, a runoff spot. What are you trying to kill me? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Want to go back up there and do a drop post video? No. <laughs> Ah, I was geared too high. Look at these rock formations in here, man. Yeah. Ah. Oh, I can't see a thing.
Ah, I'm gonna need a bar at this point. Sunlight off the hillside. It's getting low in the sky though. Yeah. I don't know what time to do. On our way back, Scott got a little bit ahead of me because I had to stop and change batteries for the GoPro, but I'll catch up to him at some point. Didn't quite make it end to end, but it's been a beautiful ride nonetheless. Just saw a coyote earlier. It wasn't quick enough to get the GoPro out to catch the footage. What's that? Yep. Hello, how's it going? Oh, you're okay. <laughs> you're okay, thank you. All right. Let's see if we can find the truck. That was a ride. It was a ride. 
it's just now getting to uh, dusk and just got everything unloaded or actually loaded back up and got in the car here and uh, I am just whooped. I remember doing this uh, 20 years ago when I was younger and in better shape and I swore I thought this was just like going to be a little easy, windy, you know, <laughs> slightly hilly out and back. Oh no, as you have you've seen on the video. Yeah, there's a lot of ups and downs, a lot of more climbing than I remembered, a lot more rocky than I remembered. But um, still, all in all, it was a great ride. We went out and back, six miles out, six miles back for a 12 mile, 12 mile total. It was a wonderful, wonderful ride. Wasn't exactly what we wanted to <clears throat> accomplish, but as I knew going into this, we probably weren't gonna be able to make the whole thing out and back. But it was a great ride. It's absolutely beautiful out here. As you saw also, a lot more traffic on these trails out here. So you've got to be mindful of foot traffic, uh, other bikers, and uh, some of them not knowing trail etiquette. So <laughs> just as an aside, proper trail etiquette is that you yield to, bikers are supposed to yield to equestrians and hikers and anybody coming uphill, especially bikers. Other bikers coming uphill, get out of the way, let them climb, you interrupt their climb, they gotta get out of the saddle. Unlike several people I ran across here, a couple of jerks I ran across here today. Do everybody a favor, yourself included, practice proper trail etiquette. There's a lot of people out on these trails here in the Phoenix Valley. Um, if everybody looks out for each other and is courteous, it makes uh, everybody's experience that much better. And say hi. And say hi. Yeah, we always say hi. How you doing? So overall impression. Well, I want to come back out here again. Okay. It's just, it's a great trail to practice your endurance. I mean, you could really just pedal the whole time. It's nice. So I want to do that. I want to come back out and build up endurance out here. That would be a great, great way to do it. I would say for <clears throat> beginners can do this with supervision yeah. and you want to, uh, you don't want to just go careening down some of these hills into these arroyos. Um, some of them are quite steep. And then there's the issue of pedaling back up the other side once you get down in. So I'd say this is more intermediate trail, uh, yeah. intermediate advanced. Depending on where you go, there's lots of little offshoots that you can, you can go up on the uh, actual mountainside, and that's pretty hard to do on some of those. Scott took a little side trek, <laughs> tried to kill me up there in one of the canyons. So I'd say uh, five stars for this one. If you haven't been out here, uh, this is a definite must see. South Mountain is one of the premier places out here in the valley. People come from all over the US, even yeah. all over the world to ride out here, especially Desert Classic, yep. um, International and Mormon Trails. Mm. Just some beautiful stuff and beautiful scenery. Yep. Anything else to add? No, that's no? it. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Well, until next time, God bless and happy trails.